Part of the reason why I've decided to come public with something that's so private for me is because I want people to understand that not only did I hit rock bottom, I hit rock bottom like 20 times. So it looks like we're in the era of celebs coming out to expose the deepest, shadiest, and nastiest parts of the industry. And honestly, I'm here for it, especially since there are so many celebs like Lisa Nicole Carson who deserve justice for how the industry treated her. She just joined the very long list of celebs who are finally standing on business and speaking their truth. It has been over 15 years since Lisa Nicole Carson got the boot from Hollywood. And now she's spilling all the tea on the twisted, messed up side of the industry that ruined her career and her life. Lisa's not holding back because she's bringing the receipts to show just how badly the big shots in Hollywood treated her and how they used the media to drag her through the mud just because she was different from what Hollywood considered useful. But here's the real question. Why did Hollywood have so much hate for her? And why did the industry turn on her all of a sudden and then ban her for good? But I had, um an episode in, in New York at a hotel and it got leaked out to the press. That was like just unraveling. Hollywood is this crazy toxic jungle where stars are chewed up and spat out without a second thought. And there's been no shortage of horror stories about actors and singers getting treated like trash for no good reason. But one of the absolute worst cases has to be Lisa Nicole Carson. Girl, they did her dirty, like on a whole nother level. And the industry pretty much tore her life apart. Now, Lisa was a big deal in Hollywood back in the day. While she wasn't exactly an A-list superstar, she had a solid career, which is more than a lot of folks can say. She started acting as a kid and really hit her stride in her 20s, scoring roles in hit shows like Ali McBeal, ER, and more. And it wasn't just her talent that won people over, it was her charm and that infectious personality of hers. I just want to take this time to really? take off my hat because I've been given specific instructions to take off my no, hat, you can wear hat and to show America that this is no weave. Oh, so okay. please stop writing me the letter. If this is, go ahead, feel deep, deep. But well, there's a piece right here. No, 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 it ain't. <laughs> she ate up her supporting role so badly that fans had confidence that she was going to be in the industry for a long time and go ahead to have an immensely successful career. Unfortunately, things didn't quite work out for her that way because her career tanked not long after it blew up. According to reports, and I need to add, this specific one is just alleged and has never been proved. But her career started to fall apart when a movie director forced her to perform some concerning acts with a dog, promising her a movie role in exchange. According to a blind item, allegedly she performed an inappropriate act with a dog for a movie role. And the director still didn't give her the part. They basically laughed at her after she did it, then she lost it, allegedly. If this is true, Lisa got straight up set up by the director. I don't think he ever had any intention on giving her that role, and his plan was to embarrass her, plain and simple. The whole thing was a total setup, and he played her like a fiddle. Word of the shady move spread like wildfire, around Hollywood and it kind of put a dent in Lisa's rep both in the industry and with her fans. Now like I said I can't say for sure if this story is gospel truth or just hearsay but the rumors were out there and they did a number on her reputation even though there wasn't a shred of proof that she did anything wrong. But here's where things really went downhill. People started treating her differently after that whole mess but that was just the tip of the iceberg. Her mental health took a nosedive and she started showing signs of bipolar disorder. She went through a string of nervous breaks Downs that only made things worse for her career and her well being. Back in the late 90s and 2000s, I was having a series of nervous breakdowns. I had managed to uh, keep it under wraps for a while, but I had. Um, Knowing what we know now about bipolar disorder, it can be a very distressing condition to deal with. And it gets a hundred times worse when you're dealing with this in the industry in front of millions of people. And the industry only made it worse for Lisa by alienating her and cutting her off. According to reports, it was a producer who first pointed out to Lisa that she might be dealing with bipolar disorder. And this was years before it got to the point where she was having public breakdown. In an interview she did with Essence Magazine, Lisa revealed how a producer on the the show ER recognized her high spirits as being more than just a friendly and happy attitude. She said, my high spirited moments look like something else to one of the producers on ER. He had a family history of bipolar disorder and thought I might be exhibiting some of the symptoms. I didn't know what he was talking about or how it could apply to me, so I just continued with my life. But she refused to believe him and was in denial that she had bipolar disorder. But that quickly changed when she had a psychotic episode less than a year later. 
She said, a year later, I was in New York City catching up with loved ones when I unexpectedly had a fit in my hotel, yelling, throwing things, crying, and raising enough hell that the staff called an ambulance. I ended up being hospitalized for a few weeks and a psychiatrist gave a diagnosis, bipolar disorder. But even with that, she went into denial and refused to get therapy or take medications to control the situation. And it wasn't long before things got out of hand again. There were attempts to treat me, but I was in complete denial about having the illness. If you are in the throes of a nervous breakdown or episode, they can get to be life or death situations pretty easily. So things just kept spiraling for her and those psychotic episodes of hers started coming out stronger and more frequent. She managed to keep most of them under wraps, but a couple of years after that, she had this massive epic meltdown that just couldn't be swept under the rug. And unlucky for her, the media caught wind of it. And you know how the tabloid used to love a good scandal back in the day and just milk it dry. It was so bad that it forced her to wake up and finally accept the support that had been offered to her. She said, it was the closest everything came to collapsing for me. That's what marked the beginning of the end of the disease for me. I decided that whatever was going on in my life had to take second place. I had to take my medication and fight this with everything I am. That was a major wake up call for her. She realized she needed to get her act together so she took the plunge and started therapy and meds to get herself back on track. The media went all in with the headlines about her breakdown but she was determined not to let that define her. She checked herself into a psych ward for a bit and when she got out she tried to get her career back on track. Marching right back onto the set of Ollie McBeal where she had been filming before she went away for therapy. But things took another turn and she got fired from the show. She said, upon being discharged, I returned to Los Angeles and went back to work on Ollie McBeal, feeling more in control. Everybody on the show was wonderful to me, but my contract wasn't renewed for the final season. Nobody gave me an explanation, but I assumed it had to do with what had happened. I was devastated. She found herself out of work and even though she tried hard and put her all into it, she was unable to get another acting gig. Eventually, she had to pack up and leave LA because she accepted that it was no longer working out and things would never be the same again. What made things even harder for her was that her public rep took such a serious hit thanks to her mental health struggles and the media didn't do her any favors either. She put it best in an interview where she said, once my episode became public, I was torn apart in the press, which really hurt. Up to that point, I led a charmed life in show business. Insider spilled the tea that her erratic behavior wasn't solely down to her mental health issues because allegedly she was also dabbling in some illegal substance. One source spilled, Lisa was fired from both Ali McBeal and ER due to her erratic behavior from a combination of and bipolar disorder. On ER, they killed off her character, Carla. Honestly, it was just heartbreaking. And even to this day, Lisa feels like Hollywood, her agents, and her manager totally dropped the ball when it came to protecting her from the fallout of her mental health struggles, even though none of it was her fault. She feels like they hung her out to dry, and that's just not right. It's like they turned their backs on her when she needed support the most and ended up kicking her to the curb. She eventually left Hollywood for good, but things still didn't pick up. An eyewitness revealed that she was working as a waitress in a burger shop. So I'm I'm looking at this hostess without appearing to look too much and then finally I think I know who she is. But I finally asked her and I was right. Well, her agent and manager dropped her. Her family would not speak to her anymore because she had borrowed and borrowed from them without ever paying anything back. Plus, she stole from them too. Not a lot, she says, but enough. She says that she has paid everyone back now and that she can actually use her residual checks on her now. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like Lisa is coming back to the industry ever again, but her revelations about how she was banned and mistreated have fans upset on her behalf and they said, so sad to see what she went through. She is one of the most talented actresses out here. Horrible that nobody had empathy for her the way they do for Britney Spears and others. She deserves the same grace. Mental illness is brutal. And in Hollywood, people are commodities. They are a dime a dozen. Lisa is not the first nor the last person to have been blackballed for any number of reasons. The entertainment business is very fickle. Some of the mental illnesses we hear about with those in the industry are caused by being in the industry. But what do you guys think about this? Do you think that Hollywood is really to blame or does Lisa need to take some accountability? Let me know what you think in the comments then check out this next video.